What's up guys, it's Izzy from Endless RVing and in today's video I'm going to bring you part two of the 12 must-haves if you're an RV owner. You're not going to want to miss it. We're going away, get your back, check the tag, decision is made, lock your door, need no more, it's already paid, cancel your mail for a while, it's a journey. So guys, we are here for part two of 12 must-haves if you own an RV. Uh, just a heads up, we are at a campground now, so you might see people walking around. It's not a controlled environment, but it is what it is. We're out enjoying Labor Day weekend, so glad you can join us. Let's start with number one, all right? We're gonna come over here into the wet bay. Number one thing on part number two is uh, 90 degree elbow hoses. You can see these right here. These are about $4, they're uh, four fifty dollars on Amazon. They're made from, uh, Campco makes them. They're just brass, 90 degree elbows. And what that does, it just allows you to connect your, um, your hose easily. You're not putting a lot of strain in your inlets here. As you see, I have my blue, so the fresh water. I think I told you on a previous video, um, you should have a separate hose for your uh, black flush. So you can see I have a separate black hose, never touches the uh, fresh water hose. So for about nine bucks, you can get two of those. It's going to save you a lot of time. It's going to uh, give a little extra life to that inlet. Okay, so that's number one. Number two. Bug screens. Again, uh, Camco makes these. There's other, other knockoff companies that you can get on Amazon. These are probably about 15 bucks. They're spring-loaded. Put two, of them, two springs on there, holds them in place. We've had these in since, uh, since we got the RV, and we've traveled probably 5,000 miles or so. And they've held up well. Like I said, we're at a campground. You're going to hear noise in the background, all right? So just bear with us, all right? We have uh, one here. This is going to be our uh, hot water heater. And then we have uh, two on the um, exhaust for our furnace. And what these bug screens do, um, they don't allow, obviously, bugs to get in. Spiders, uh, wasp, other bugs to make nests in there and possibly create a, a problem on the electric boards and, and whatever else is going on in there. So. Uh, that was one of the first things when we first bought our travel trailer um, during the orientation they actually did tell us uh, try to put some kind of screen in there because it'll cause you a problem if you get bugs in there so that's number two bug screens uh, number three we're gonna we have it lined up here so i'll let mj walk over we got a list of items over here so these are our vent filters um, these are a couple of bucks you can get them on amazon or home depot these are just home uh, forced air vent filters. And what we use these for, we have floor vents in our motor home and we also have vents uh, that are drilled into like under cabinets. But we do have a lot of floor vents and you wanna put these in because especially if you have pets, um, you're gonna get hair and you're gonna get debris and stuff into that, that duct work and you don't want that. So this is an easy job. You uh, take out the uh, vent covers, usually held on with two screws uh, you put these on, I hold them on with a little bit of duct tape, screw them back in. Anything that's caught will be caught in here and then you can easily change it out every couple of months. We do it once a season and uh, you'll have a nice clean uh, duct work, which uh, it's, it's a lot easier than try to get a vacuum in that duct work. All right, so number three, vent filters. Number four, we're gonna walk over a little bit over here. Uh, in our last video on the 12 things you needed to have, I told you uh, that you really critically should have some kind of surge protector. And I actually recommend to get an EMS one. The one we have is from Progressive Industries. These things are expensive. This is, I think, $315 or $320. Listen, I know, guys, uh, everybody's happy when they go camping. Everybody trusts everybody. But Izzy, unfortunately, through life, has learned that you shouldn't really trust everybody. So uh, for a couple bucks, I have a cable lock. Um, this... Uh, this surge guard, it comes with a, a built-in um, sleeve here, so you can put a lock. I just got a cheap cable lock from uh, Harbor Freight, padlock, goes around, it's pad, padlock to the uh, electric pole here. You're gonna have to take the pole down or you're gonna have to climb up the pole to get my, uh, my surge protector. So if you're spending 320 bucks, spend another 15 bucks and get some kind of cable lock. It doesn't have to be this one, it could be one for a bicycle. It doesn't have to be anything fancy, just get one peace of mind if you're leaving. You don't want to come back and not have your surge protector, right? So that is number four, a lock and cable for your surge protector. 
So let's walk down over here. And MJ's working the camera again today. She's getting a lot of compliments for her camera work, which is awesome. Shout out to MJ on the camera. Uh, number five. These things here, they look like mini curtain rods. What these are, uh, these are just bars that you put in the refrigerator. Uh, and they have, they're tension loaded. They can be adjusted by you know turning either clockwise or counterclockwise to make the length. You put these bars across um, the shelves and what it does it's going to hold your your items in their fridge from moving back and forth also most rv refrigerators have some kind of lock built in um, ours does we can lock it so that door's not swinging open when we're driving if we don't if you guys don't have that uh, they sell those things it's just an rv fridge lock put it on because if you don't you're going to have stuff flying all over your rig when you're driving all right so these keep everything in place those door locks keep the door locked that's what you want when you're driving. That is number five. Number six, first aid kit. We keep two first, kit, first aid kits on board. Um, as you can see, the one we haven't used at all. Uh, basic, you can go as little or as crazy as you want on here. Have some bandages, some gauze, um, some topical ointment. Um, on this one, you have one over here by uh, Equate. It's got 85 items, some uh, bandages and other things like that and then we have another one here from sportsman series medical kit this has some gauze in it and i also threw in here which is you know pretty important a tourniquet um guys if what's going to cause you a lot of trouble and you know god forbid it ever happens if you get some kind of uh, cut where you have a big bleed like an arterial bleed um, this will save your life a tourniquet will save your life all right so this tourniquet here is actually couple of bucks it's called it's from stat tourniquet s-t-a-t -T, tourniquet the sun's in it. and this one is almost like idiot proof it, it looks like a big zip tie so essentially you put it in crank it down so that bleeding stops there's actually a timer on it so if you take somebody to the hospital they'll know how long that tourniquet was on there for a uh, couple of bucks i think it's like less than 20 bucks all right they're also made in the usa which is awesome so that is number six which is a first aid kit Number seven, and we use this thing almost every trip. Drill, okay? You don't have to have a Milwaukee Fuel lithium drill. This is one I have, because if I buy a tool, I try to buy a good one, because it'll last a long time. This thing we use all the time, all the time. We've had um, some bolts come out of the door that were not drilled into something solid, so I've had to you know, drill out the door, put a dowel in, let it dry with some wood glue, drill in. We just use this all the time, okay? so. If you keep one on board, they're pretty light. Um, keep a drill. I promise you will use this if you're RVing enough. This will be used. All right. So number seven, a drill. Number eight. Um, this is uh, kind of like a Leatherman knockoff. I got this as a gift. Um, it could be whatever brand you want. Leatherman is really the, the most popular, but it's just a multi-tool. You have a little ply here. There's a saw, file, pick, a little knife. You guys want to make a fire you can use this to shred some wood if you need to cut something whatever you, you're definitely going to use this at some point it's small it's compact you can keep it on board you can get these relatively cheap all kind of brands make them but if you're going to get one i recommend leatherman that's the one that's most known and most popular so number eight a knife or some kind of utility tool okay number eight number nine okay we talked about the last video and the 12 things you should have on your RV. We talked about the Rhino sewer hose, okay? Um, that goes along with the Rhino sewer hose, what you should really get. They, they make what's called sewer hose support. And if you can see here, the sewer hose comes down. Listen, what's coming through here is heavy water. I mean, it's water. Water is heavy. So instead of having this droop into the ground, you have the support and it's kind of angled. It starts tall and it goes down. And as you can see, this is adjustable. So if I had to bring this hose out longer, I can bring out the support longer, but it keeps everything nice and tight. Everything's going right into the dump. You don't have to worry about that coming out. Um, and you don't have to worry about putting the tension on the weight on this. So it keeps it supported. It's gonna extend the life of your sewer hose. Uh, I would recommend that these are pretty cheap. They're like, I think less than 30 bucks, okay? So number eight, sewer hose, I'm sorry, number nine, sewer hose support, invest in one. Also just note those things when they're done, they close up like an accordion and they wrap up, they store easily. Number 10. 
if you have RV long enough and you have screws come out, you're going to notice that the screw heads are not your normal Phillips or flat. They, they're like this square, crazy screw head. So I went over to uh, Harbor Freight. I got a little um, screw bit kit. And if you could look in here, there's all like, you know, hex and all different types of shapes in here. They also have the squared off ones. I've used this numerous times. You can see there's all different type of Phillips. Uh, there's flat. I promise you, you will use this. This is cheap. This, I think this is less than 15 bucks. I've used this multiple times. I can't you know, um, say that enough. So screw bit kit with uh, specific uh, bits for like RV screw heads, all right? That's gonna be number 10. Number 11. This is my, probably one of the oldest tool kits in my collection. I think this is probably about, uh, let me see, I'm 42. This is probably 15 years old I've had this. You're 42 today. Yes, I'm 42 years Good today. Birthday. So just a basic um, socket kit. Listen, you can get as fancy. If you can store a lot of tools on your RV, you're going to be that much better. I try to um, bring whatever tools that I think I may use. And a lot of times I write because I do use them. Um, but this one, this, this, there's socket nuts everywhere. Um, this one specifically right here is going to fit the, uh, this fits the drain plug for my hot water heater. So when we are at, we're uh, wrapped up with camp, I drain the water heater. This allows me with the extension. The, you know how old this is? You probably don't see this too much. It's made in the USA. That's how old it is. Oh yeah. So this is, uh, get some good tools. They're going to last you a long time. All right. That is going to be number 11 as a socket set. Number 12. And this stuff is freaking awesome. Um, it's called Aero Cosmetics. It's wash and wax all. It's all in one. I'm going to do a quick demonstration of how this stuff works. Um, this was actually, from what I read, I don't know how true it is or not, but this was developed for the aerospace. They used to use this on planes. And it's a spray, an all-in-one spray. So we've used this. If you're on a long trip, pull into camp, you just want to spray down the front of your uh, rig real quick, get the bugs off the windshield. This stuff works awesome. You pair this with some microfiber towels, you spray, wipe, turn over that microfiber towel, wipe again, and it's clean. So I'm going to try to find something here to demonstrate quickly. We just washed the other day. Yeah, we just actually washed before we left, so it's pretty clean. But uh, let me show you how this stuff works. You want to make sure your microfiber towel is clean, okay? So I think you see like a little mark right there, right here, okay? You get that, MJ? This stuff smells good too. So all you're gonna do is spray, right? And it leaves a, a wax and, and like a shine behind. So you're gonna wipe, right? Turn over the uh, microfiber towel, get the dry spot. And there you go. We, when we had pulled into one campground, we knocked out the whole front cab and, and literally me and MJ in probably 10 minutes. And look how shiny that is. And it stays like, it's like silky smooth. It leaves like a nice wax finish on there. This stuff is on Amazon. You get a gallon, I think for 30 bucks and a gallon lasts a long time. So I hope this video wasn't too long. Um, again, 12 things that you should have on your RV. They're not as critical as my first video, but these things we use all the time. And listen, I can do three hours of stuff that you should have. I'm trying to categorize them from, you know, like critical to, you know, what you probably want to have on there. So if you enjoyed the video, I know that last video got a huge response. I'm pretty sure this one is also. If you enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, share. Sharing really helps us. When you subscribe, it helps us grow on YouTube. We've grown now. I think the last video were at 500 or just short of 500. We're now, what, 572? So we're going to be approaching 1,000 pretty soon, and it's because of you guys, all right? Um, also, I'm going to be putting the Amazon links, our, our Amazon affiliate account. If you like the product, if you find it somewhere cheaper, somewhere else cheaper, buy it there. Save your money. If it's cheap as on Amazon, click on those links below. What that does, if you buy it through us, it costs you nothing different, but Amazon kicks us a small commission. It helps us. We can build a bank, buy better equipment, better cameras, better software, we could bring you better quality video, okay? So I appreciate you for taking your time and watching us. I appreciate you guys supporting us. 
MJ is going to give her a signature thumbs up. And from both of us in beautiful Triple Brook uh, Campground in Blairstown, New Jersey, we thank you for watching and we'll see you guys on the road.